views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Conscious Creation with actress, author, and healer, Dee Wallace. If you want to take charge of your life, really take charge of your life, the next hour will be a fun, enlightening experience in creating the life you want. Whether it's money, health, success, or relationships, join Dee in celebrating the power of you and see your life expand into joyful creation. And now, here's Dee. Hello, all you amazing, fabulous, incredible, magnificent, so very loved, and oh my gosh, darn sexy people. Welcome to 2016, babies. It's going to be an amazing year. Um, Amazing in any way you want to create it. For those of you who have just found this incredible community, We bring in the latest, the greatest, the most accurate, and the highest understanding of information from the ethers about what is going on right now in this very moment and what it's possible for you to create and what might be within you that's creating you not getting what you want. So welcome, everybody. Um, Some really exciting new information coming in to start the year out. Um, I want to update you on Bapalapalu, our little bear. Went out all across the world um, at Christmas time, and I came back uh, to receive from the Centers for Spiritual Living a quite substantial tithe for the um, caring support for children, which is our nonprofit arm for Bupa, um, where uh, anybody that wants to tithe to that uh, gets a tax deduction for it. And we use that then to buy bears and take them out to um, orphanages and schools and, um, you know, places that are re- the little bear is going to really make a difference for children in comforting them and uh, reestablishing their power. So uh, anybody that's called to make a tithe, hop right in. And anybody who has a place anywhere in the world that you think would be a wonderful place for me to donate some of these beers, please email me, d at imdwallace.com, because I I really uh, want to consciously find the best places Uh, the highest places to serve children with this little bear. Our next webinar, January 20th, I'm really, really excited about this webinar. I love this woman. Dana Wild is joining us uh, to teach us how to train the brain for success. Now, we know in this community that spirituality and science Um, And you'll hear a lot about that with the information that I have for you today, that um, when we use our whole brain, we will literally be the entire creative force at work, God at work. And, And I think this is so very important. We did so many um, good webinars around the brain and how the childhood brain is developed and how we can retrain synapses. So this is a continuation of that, and I love Dana Wild. Uh, if you want to check her out, go to DanaWild.com. Um, she walks her talk, and the people who I want to spend my life with this year have got to walk their talk. Um, I'm also going to be on Jennifer McLean's Prediction Week uh, this week. If you'd like to join us, it's always a really exciting week where the channel literally gives the predictions. And, of course, you know those are all about you and what you do with them. Because if you don't do anything with them, I mean, it's really easy to look back and go, yeah, we're going to be, you know, threatened by terrorism and 
Um, the economy might be unstable. The weather patterns are changing. Well, anybody can make that call. Just watch the news, right? Um, but it's the higher information that you're looking for, the, the higher information about energetically how you can shift this year. If you would like to speak to the channel today, press 1 now. Otherwise, you will not be put in the queue. Okay, so here we go. And I was tracking this even before I went back for the holidays. But some some things, and, you know, I, I do uh, share with you um, a lot of my personal things. Some things went down at the holidays uh, between members of our family. And that's what I love about my family is because we do walk the talk. And when BS goes down, we sit down and go, what can we do about it? And so we called a, a kind of a family meeting. And then some stuff started happening when I got home. And I went, hmm, this is the, this is the same thing, kind of uh, looking to see still who we can blame, who we can judge, um, uh, looking to see what's wrong, uh, looking to see whose fault it is, looking to see who's not doing as, as much as we're doing, right? And, and, and then ending um, selection of things that veer off from that. And what it finally came down to, um, Reva and I were sitting down and sharing some of this stuff, and I said, well, let's just get to it. Let's get to it right now. And bottom line, what it was is I'm not happy because of you, or I can't be happy without you. So there's a lot of of uh, uh, again addendums to those two things but basically um, I can't be happy if you do this I can't be happy if you're not doing as much as I am I can't ha be happy if you're doing more than I am I can't be happy without you my whole life is based around you if you're not here I don't survive you know blah 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 um <laughs> You know what they're showing me right now? They're showing me 45 records spinning. Because back in those days, if you know, when we were growing up, if you listen to most of the songs, it was all about, uh, especially on the female side, oh, my gosh, I'll give myself up. Just please love me. You know, whatever you need. Soldier Boy, you know, and all the, all those. Um, I, I was... I had the oldie goldies on while I was cleaning out the office uh, yesterday, and there was that song on um, "You Don't Own Me," da 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 da, da you know, um, which I thought to myself was a pretty gutsy song to come out back then because it's really a new age message, right? So all of this comes down to I don't create my happiness, I don't create me. Now, I know you've heard this for, well, ever since you've been part of this community. What I want you to know is that there are still parts of us that are not walking that talk, that are not saying, I do create me, I do create my happiness. And, and we went into unconditional love. And Reva said a very interesting thing, <clears throat> and I want to share it with you because it's a whole new way of looking at it that I didn't have before, which was regardless of the condition, I still stay in love. I want to say that again, unconditional love. Regardless of the condition, I stay in love. Now, then um, I was having a wonderful New Year's Eve um, talk with my good friends, um, Anne and Denise. And I was telling them about that. And, and then we all got our pendulums and started to work on some other stuff. 
and some really interesting stuff came in because before I had talked to them, I was sitting down and um, I was working on something of my own, a, a physical thing, and I heard, well, D, open your heart. And I went, what? I, I think my heart is open. And it, it went to no. And I said, well, I think it is. And yes, you think it is, but it isn't really. So I want everybody right now, no matter what you're doing, to direct your heart to open. I am, not have, but I am an open heart. Well, the physical thing, I must say to you, within the moment, decreased, got better about 50%. So then comes in, we're talking about making decisions for 2016. Then comes in the part, and, and this is new information, because we've always talked about going to our heart first, feeling what's true there, and then directing our mind, right, to follow the truth of our heart. And the channel is going, we're expanding out from that now. We are, they want us to know that when our heart is open and our brain and our heart are merging, and that is still, yes, still the highest word. When our brain and our heart are merging, that's when the highest decisions are made. The most accurate decisions are made. When you're in a state where your brain and your open heart are merging together. Now, I want to remind you that Rampa in the white book, talks about when we use our entire brain, we're God. So again, bringing the science and the spirituality together because our whole brain represents um, the universe. Gosh, and they're giving me, they're showing me um, Scarlett Johansson's film that came out, I think it was this last year, maybe it was the end of the year before, uh, about using our whole brain. It was, it's a fascinating film if you haven't watched it. So we are coming together now to direct that our open heart and our whole brain merge together in all decisions that we make in 2016. We are claiming this. We are directing it. We are invoking the formula and the symbol around this. I am the merging of my open heart and my whole brain for the highest decisions possible. That is a very big chunk of information, guys. Write it down, put it up until it becomes an innate part of you, okay? Um, So we have to open our heart. We have to have an open heart to receive and create healing of any kind. And then you have to ask for it. Ask and you receive. you got to ask for it. Um, <clears throat> I also would like to recommend to you, if you have not re- read it yet, The Biology of Belief by Bruce Lipton. Um, it, it brings the science of everything that we're talking about and the spirituality in together. Um The channel also added this morning right before the call. In 2016, say what you need to say to the people you need to say it to. What's happening is that we're saying it to other people, like we don't want to confront how we really feel, and so we'll tell other people about it, but we never tell the person about it so that our cards really aren't ever on the table. And that's one way we don't create what we want because we are never um, speaking to the source with an open heart, merging with our entire brain. So when we do that, stuff shifts. Say 
what you need to say to the people you need to say it to with an open heart. Now, the last thing they wanted me to do before we go to the calls is go to number four on sheet one. Again, you can get the sheets at imdwallace.com and purchase the balance program because there's a teaching that comes with them. These are 25 years of sheets and information that's come through. And what they're bringing us to is I am the power. I am the love. I am the joy. I am the choice. There's a difference between saying I have the power, I have a choice, and knowing literally I'm it. I am it. I am the power. I am the choice. That's who I am. I am the love. I am the joy. And you will be noticing that lots and lots of people are starting to talk about loving yourself. And if you ever had to question whether you're in the right community or we're getting the right information and getting it usually way ahead of a lot of other places, watch how much about self-love will be coming out this year. And we've been talking about it for over two. We have the answer, guys. You're it. You're it. Love yourself. The the whole talk in, at Circle of Miracles was so unbelievably powerful because it was all about that. Okay, so um, we're invoking the symbol and the formula, which brings everything into balance around what we talked about. We're claiming I am an open heart and an entire brain merging together for all highest decisions on my behalf. And now I can go to the calls. We're going to speed through them, so get your questions ready. Thank you. Dika. Hi, Dude, Dee. what's up, baby? Well, you know, I feel like 50%, maybe 75% better since you said I claimed that thing about um, I am an open heart and the I am the emerging of my heart and my brain. It was like everything became clear it wasn't like yeah. i hadn't seen it before but it was it's been fogged over yes that's it a, that's a brilliant way of describing it it's like you've heard me use the words for years you know it's hanging right there i sort of kind of get what it's about and then boom the this film lifts and you go oh my gosh i should have had a v8 that's what it feels like for me yeah yeah so well, what was your what was what was the thing that lifted? What was it about? Well, it's about the the way I need to uh organize going about my goals. My uh particular goals that I have. I just need to do certain things and one popped up, you know, to do and and then I could see the other ones. I mean, it was like a little like a little to-do list right in front of me, but it became clear that that's basically all I had to do. Was well, I want to know the first thing that popped up. The first thing that popped up was uh, uh, <clears throat> take care of uh, my uh, career issue. Uh, I need to write a letter for my manager to have him send out for uh, regarding the scripts, and mm-hmm. and I have a post. I I was on a Real Rob, and Rob Schneider called me, and he was wonderful and all that, and that was great. And then I sent out about 20 postcards to agents and managers, and uh, not agents and managers, but to producers and directors and people that I thought might want to see it, and nothing's happened. And it just when I said that mm-hmm. statement of um, my heart and my mind merging together, it flashed in my mind that I've got a whole other stack of postcards here. And uh-huh. I know that means, well, keep on sending it out. Okay. So um, <clears throat> be, be, I, did you hear, Dika, she said, my heart and my mind. I want everybody to get it's your brain. Your mind, and, and I think that's why they wanted you to keep talking, Dika, because your mind, guys, 
is designed to question and doubt and look for um, – they want you to know, Deka, you're sending stuff out with the expectation of not receiving, um, well, the highest word is respect. And that's the highest word for everybody, um, yours truly included, that I am respected and heard and seen. And um, we are claiming that with an open heart and the merging of the entire brain respected in this world it's if you look at the world this is a big thing you're you're bringing in here Dika if you look at the world the world the the misery of the world stems from not being respected not feeling respected so I better kill you because you don't respect me you don't respect my faith you don't respect my sex uh, you don't respect my weight right we we're all living in a world where we feel disrespected and that means on some level we are not respecting ourselves and then they take me back to number 4 so i am the respect i am the respect of me and from that respect all other respect follows and and answers and shows up let's just go to everywhere where our expectation is telling us that we are not expecting respect from others which is a direct clue to i don't respect me can everybody feel into that because i sure can can you feel into that dika uh yeah yeah so so in other words, so I sent out 20. I'm holding an expectation because of my past that uh, people aren't going to respond to me. So I hold that expectation. I focus then on that, and I forget to even send out the rest of the postcards. They also want you to know that that's not a true statement. Just because you have not gotten some kind of physical demonstration, that does not mean that nothing's happening. You're putting everything in motion. But if you fall back into, oh, see, nothing's happening, then you've created the same pattern over again. Do you understand? Did you follow that? Yeah, I follow it totally. I follow it And everybody... Everybody out there on the call should be shaking their heads right now, going, I get it. So if you didn't get it and I get to you, um, I I want you to ask me about it because there may be more to clarify. But that's everything you called about, Dika. And remember, it's your whole brain, not your mind. Okay? Whole brain, not my mind when I make that. Yeah, the merging of the open heart and the whole brain. The open heart and the whole brain. Okay, thank you, Dee. Thank you so much. You bet. Lovely to hear from you, sweetheart. Great. Thank you. Dika has been with me for so many years. She was a student in my acting uh, studio and actually was one of the people who helped create this amazing work. So our gratitude to Dika. Catherine in California, what's up, baby? Hi. Um, My question just changed after... Dika's call. So um, that really hit me about respect, expecting unrespect. Um, I've been trying to update my resume, and it's very uh, untraditional because I work for myself and I work in contracts. And so I okay. kind of blocks <clears throat> me from putting things out yeah. on Catherine, LinkedIn and things. They, yeah. they want you to know nobody else thinks that but you. <laughs> Nobody else thinks that but you. You you have to <clears> – <throat> this is what they're showing me. Like, um, you know the picture of uh, the movie Joy, and she's standing there with her arms out? <clears throat> okay, yeah. well, anyway, it's it's a joyful picture, and it kind of yeah. says, come on, world, I'm ready. Right. 
that's what they're saying to you. Step forward and and be that brave. You, you see, you're expecting them to judge you as unconditional. Expect them to go, yeah, she's unconditional or uh, uh, unconventional. Thank God. Right. <laughs> We're looking for people that are unconventional. Do you understand? Yes. Now, what does your mom have to do with this, Catherine? Because she taught you to to tread carefully around who you were. Is that true? Um, yeah, it was it's very in a very subtle way. Not she didn't ever say don't do this, but they weren't very encouraging either. Well, okay, my mother said, "Oh, Dee Dee, go be an actress. Just stay in Kansas and do it." Right. <laughs> right, that kind of stuff. So play it safe is yeah. the message we got. Yes. Okay, you can't play it safe if you want to play with the big boys and get out there and change the world. You can't oh, play yeah. it safe. You understand? Yes. Yeah, start screaming out, this is who I am and I love it. <laughs> okay. Okay. And again, they're saying when you sit down to to do your resume, right. consciously open your heart and merge it with your brain. They'll do it for you. The energy will do it for you. God will do it for you. The angels, whatever term you want to put on it, it will be delivered to you. But you got to get out of the way. All right? All right. All right, baby. Thanks for calling. Oh, the movie name is Lucy that you're thinking of. Lucy! Yes! Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If you guys can rent it or... Uh, yeah. It was just on TV the, like two days ago. I watched it, so it's out there. Oh, awesome. Well, you see, I mean, you know, obviously it had to be a thriller and all that stuff, but the yeah. message that yes. they were giving was when we're using our whole brain, we literally have all the answers, right? But what it was also about was not losing the humanity, which is the open heart. Thanks for calling in, baby. Thank you very much. Oh, we got some some guys on the line. Hi, Chris. How are you? Happy New Year. Hey, Dee. What's going? It's going great. Going great. It's I'm really well. Happy excited Happy New Year, year. and um, yeah, I'm excited to be on the call today. Um, first of all, I want to share a milestone that I great. had a, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I did my first seminar, first successful seminar or clinic or whatever you want to call it. Oh, awesome, Chris! Um, in California. Um with this, you know, this new thing that I'm starting up and, uh, had my first paying clients and it went really awesome and everybody was really happy. And so, and I'm actually going to do an interview about it here in a few days with, with this other group that I'm a part of because, um, I shared that with them and they were really excited about it and they wanted to hear about it. So I'm actually going to do a Skype call with them in a few days, but I just wanted to share that, that that was something that I've been working on for a while. You and bet. I, you bet. And, and you know, knowing that it was going to happen and uh, getting past your fear of, yeah, you know, putting it out there, which is a part of telling people what, you know, the right people, what you want, saying what you need to say. I want to right. do this. You need to do that to the universe, too. Good for you, Chris. I'm so – that's a huge, huge step for you. You've been working on that for about a year. Good for you. Yeah, I have that's been. That's a and, testimonial and, right there. It is. And my intention is that I'm going to do about four or five more of these this year. Great. So, Great. So um, do you have some dates in mind? Well, I know I'm doing one in the spring probably – in May. They want you to get the dates so that yeah. you have concrete dates to work toward. And, um, you know, this first set of clients, like, they got a pretty good deal because they were friends and 
friends of friends, and it was kind of like the first one. And I'm like, okay, they're helping me figure out how to run this. So, yeah, you, but, you, you know, have But, you know, now I'm, you know, now you I'm going to, like, advertise it. Start there. You know, Chris, you oftentimes, yeah. the first acting class I had was five people. Yeah. You know? Um, so what that does is that empowers you then to go, well, my God, I really do know what I'm doing. This is really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good for you, baby. Um, but, yeah, like uh, these classes I do in the future, I'm probably going to charge um, at least twice what I charge them. And, you know, I intend to, like, have more people as well. Absolutely. They want you to get your worth a little bit in alignment but with what you want to charge. Because there's yeah. a little tiny part of you that's going, oh, people won't pay that. So let's talk about that because that came up in my life also, that thought. Um, I really want to um, uh, create this trip to Bimini and swimming with the dolphins. And I've been Oh, talking I've heard to, about that. Yeah, yeah. It's it's quite incredible, and um, we've actually talked about doing that. But yeah, go have on. Have you? Well, yeah. yeah. Um, I I think I might try to um, create that this year, and and I had the same thought come up. Oh my gosh, it's quite a lot of money. Uh, I don't know if my clients have that, you know, money. So there's a limiting thought right there because if we're looking at the world as not having enough money to do what we want to do for the world, then it's going to be a block in our creation of that, isn't it? It sure is. Okay. So I can tell you, when I do these science fiction conventions, you guys, my jaw drops every time because people will come in and and literally – for for some of the people there, like William Shatner, they'll pay two hundred and fifty dollars an autograph and get ten pictures. And I then they'll come to my table and I'll be talking to them and they'll they'll go, yeah, well we're working overtime so we can pay for our uh, for our mortgage or our rent, but yet you know people spend their money where they want to spend their money getting the value of what they want to get. And it's different for everybody. So they're giving me, Chris, create it and they will come. Create it and they will come. Right. Okay, so around all of us, because, again, this affects all of us in business everywhere, we're going to merge our open heart and our brains with the knowing that, all people uh, get us, respond to us, can afford us, um, honor us uh, financially, that we're worth it to them financially for what we we offer. And ours is just to go out and do it. Ours is just to go out and do it. Right. Okay. You know, some, a shift that I've made lately in the last year with, with this some related to my self-worth and what I charge, just for things in general, is kind of shifted my attitude a bit and say, well, you know what, this is what I'm worth and this is what I'm going to charge. And if they don't want to pay it, well, then someone else will come along and they will. Yeah. You know, whereas in the past, I would be like, oh, my God, I guess i got to lower the price a little bit so I'll get the job or the client or whatever so I can pay my bills. But then I feel like shit afterwards. You know, I don't feel good about it afterwards. Right. Excuse my own and so there's, there's just a final little shift there, Chris, where – okay, the highest word is defensive. That yeah. None of us have to get defensive around, you know, by God, this is what I'm worth. And if you don't want to pay it, you know, there's just a little tiny bit of that within all of us. So it's like, look, I joyfully know that I'm worth this, and I joyfully know that the people who really want it and, and who um, – who value it will step forward 
you know. And if you want to, um, and this is what what I do, and everybody has to decide if this resonates with them, um, is I create, you know, a place where people can can get scholarships or something like that right. because I don't – your business is different. I In my business, if someone is really in need and is hurting, I don't want money to be the reason that they don't get the help. Well, yeah, now, I, I've been there too. I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. But when and, someone, like, when someone, you know they have the money, but they're just – Oh, I don't know. Then it's just like well, then they mm-hmm. then they don't really know that that they're not they're not really respecting or well, but sometimes they just can't feel the value in exchange for it, and that's about them, Chris. That's not right. about you. Exactly. Okay, I need to go on to another call. Are we? Did we wrap everything up for you? Well, you know, um, I have more things, but you know, we can address that later. We actually took advantage of your. Uh, December special. Great. So look forward to doing a private with you. And yeah. also, um, uh, Vicki got three Buppas to give away for Christmas, and they're amazing. So. Oh, thank you. And tell Vicki thank, thank you for really supporting that. I've got nothing but just awesome feedback. And for those of you that did get some Buppas, um, if your child is very young, the best way to to start out, I think, and introduce uh, Bapa and actually what he does so that the child can learn about it is around bedtime. Make it one of the bedtime rituals where you sit down and you play with Bapa along with reading your books or whatever, you know. So um, I'm learning more and more and more uh, from the children about the bear itself. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. And give Vicky my love. Thank you, Dee, and Happy New Year. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, Kirk, I don't know where Kirk went. Kirk was up next, and now he's not on here. I thought we were going to have a little guy run there. Caroline in Washington. Hi, baby. Hi, Dee. How are you this morning? Good. What's Um, up? Well, I have to say this is a really uh, fruitful conversation this morning because uh, for myself, I'm um, trying to get rid of weightedness that's around me from family, from the holidays, and keeping an open heart. Okay, so let's go back to the very, were you on the call the whole time? I was, and trying okay. to pay attention, but, and, it's light, and it's definitely lighting, lightening my energy as we speak. Good, because that's exactly what uh, the big thing that we got to. I'm not happy because of you. Yeah. I can't be happy because you guys are jerks. I can't be happy because of all the family drama. I blah 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 blah. Right. And I think for me it's about how to I'm what I struggle with is how to show up and participate and this is really around my mom right now who's not in good health and get things done at the same time just to let people be how they are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's it's a struggle though because then I try to kind of maintain my own sort of sense of integrity. Okay, but let, let's talk through this because this seems to be the crux of the show here today. So what you just said to me is I can't let them be who they are and stay in integrity. Yep. Okay. Do you believe that's true? It feels like a place where there's a – like, and I can feel it even inside of myself energetically – a struggle around it energetically, around okay. letting people be who they are and be myself. Right. So we are going to a core belief. So hang on. Is she? No. Here, here, here. Okay. So the core of this is I'm scared to death to go. And we have to discern what go means in order to get the – so, okay, these are the highest words. Everybody listen because you will resonate with this. 
I'm scared to death to stop saving everyone. Shit. So if if you act that way, I can't save mom. And if you act that way, I can't save you. And you're not going to save you, so I have to save you. Everybody is very, very busy in this world, including ISIS, trying to save what they think they have to save. So what that means is nobody else can be who they need to be because or <laughs> or they have to be screwed up so that we can save them. So that's what we focus on. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I can hear the light bulb coming on. Yeah, no, and it's and it's about to burst me into tears, that's for sure. Well, like yeah. that's never happened on this show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Feel free, baby. So Yeah. Um and that is really what went down um within my family. Started bringing all of this uh highest discernment in. Is I'm scared to death to let you be who you are. Um <sighs> yeah. Or and, and it works both ways. I'm scared to death to let you be who you are because then I won't have anybody to save. And I'm scared to death to let you be who you are because then I can't save me or save somebody else because you're in the way. Yeah. No, and, and and that's the exact issue because, you know, for me it's around my uh, elderly mom who's uh, prone to fall and have injuries now and feeling responsible to save her. Right. But there's only so much I can do when she is choosing for me you not bet. to be able to do some safety You measure. bet. You bet. And so we're back to respect. Who do you have to respect then? Well, I think that it's her and the choices that she's making. And yourself, honey. You have yeah. to respect yourself enough to go, you know, look, I'm I'm doing my best but my best isn't being received. So oh, it's not at all. Yeah, I know. If if somebody isn't valuing what we're putting out and they don't want to receive it, look, I walk the same thing with my mother. I swore I would never put my mother in a retirement home. And we we had this wonderful thing all lined up for her, myself and, and my two brothers, but my stepdad at the last minute said, I'm not doing that. And I I said to my mom, Mommy, this is the best choice for you. This way you can live in a really nice place, be taken care of, but you don't ever have to go into, you know, a nursing home or any of that. Well, I have to do what he wants to do, Dee Dee. Yeah. So she made her choice. And it's painful for us whether it's your teenager or your young adult that just got married or your elderly parents or your alcoholic spouse it's painful for us to stand back and let them create themselves so i'm going to give everybody um again what the i am discourse says about that i release you to your own divine i am present i will be here to support you i will be here to love you without condition no matter what the conditions are i love my family i love my mother and i love me does that help, Caroline? Does that give you yeah. a little bit of clarity there? Yeah, it definitely does help. And the rest of it, I think, is just mine to unwind about how to then show up and hold that balanced place. Well, yeah. does she have a life lock? Uh, yeah, and she will use it intermittently. Yeah. So, again, you see, um, what would you say to someone who for your whole lifetime you said put your seatbelt on, put your seatbelt on, put your seatbelt on, and they refuse to wear their seatbelt, and they get into a major accident, 
and create a lot of harm to themselves. You couldn't have put their seatbelt on for them. (laughs) Okay. You know, and you have to accept, and I think that's very hard for us with elderly parents, is we have to accept that sometimes they just don't want to because they're getting ready. They're getting ready. They're getting ready. And this is one of the ways, and you have to honor that, sweetheart. Yeah, that's right. While you you love her. And while you create as much care for her that she will allow, you have to That's honor right. her process. That's right. Thank you. You bet. Much That's light right. to Thank you. Thank you so much. much. You know, I'm spending more time on the calls today because I'm being told to. And we're really covering some major things. Joellen in Indianapolis. Ooh. Hi, sweetheart. What's up? Hi. Thank you so much for taking my call. I appreciate You're- it. You created it, baby. What can we do for you? <laughs> yes, thank you. So I um, have, um, I, I'm looking for a job um, in a creative industry. I'm a graphic designer by trade, and I, I'm in Indianapolis. Chicago was a little bit easier for me to get work. Indianapolis is my hometown, and I want to be here. And I'm just wondering... Um, Okay, stop. What I can do to okay. speed up First the process. of all, this is, they're saying, a absolute representation of someone who needs to open their heart and merge it with their brain. Because home is anywhere that you want to make it. Mm-hmm. And they're saying, the first thing I heard was you've lost your joy in being a graphic, hold on, not being a graphic designer, doing graphic design. Why would you have lost your joy? Does that resonate with you at all? Uh, yes, and so I I took some time off. I moved away, and then I've done a series of jobs, and now I'm trying to get back into it. Okay, why? They want to know why you lost your joy. Why did you leave um, it in the first place? I was working at a company where I just wasn't happy. Okay. That company does not represent who you are as a graphic designer, and you've gotten that confused. Your mind, not your brain, but your mind has confused that experience with being the joy of a graphic designer. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. I had a a huge thing happen to me relatively early in my career that took the joy of acting away from me because the circumstance was so dramatic and so hurtful. I had to, and through this work, realize that that was about them And I had to get my joy of acting back again. And they're bringing in the respect again. You were not respected at that company. Is that true? (laughs) Correct. Okay. So what you know now is I am a joyful graphic designer. I love to do this work in um, um, an environment where I am respected and honored. And my work is respected and honored. And that's what I'm going to find. You see, that's what's been blocking you is because subconsciously you've been going, I don't want that again. But you haven't said what you do want. And you weren't, your conscious mind didn't know that you had combined who you were with that experience. Are, Are you totally with me here? Yes, I am. Okay. I, I I guess my mind was kind of wondering. I wonder why I was in that experience in the first place. It was a great company, and um, well, we put I, I just, ourselves in experiences for the lessons we need to learn. So, what lesson would you say you learned with the information that you have here in this moment? I think it brought me to a lot more spirituality because <clears throat> I did a lot of. 
online listening to spiritual shows and um I think it connected me to God more. Okay. And the only way we can connect to God is to connect more with us. So, bottom line, you guys, do you understand you you want a real experience? A real experience of connecting with God? See how much you can love you and you will feel God. You some of you still just don't get that, that it's the same thing. You can't truly feel love for the highest and one energy if you don't feel that for yourself because you're it. So you created this experience to learn to respect yourself as the artist that you are. Not through what somebody else says but through yourself and your own knowing. So I don't need them, back to the first of the show, I can't be respected and happy without you telling me that I'm great. Well, yes, you can. And that's what we all have to do, is I am this. And then we take that out into the world and people can get it. You got it? Yes. Do you... Do you um, I, I guess, you know, I've been um, looking for the job for this past month, and I know December's a hard, <clears throat> a hard okay, time. Okay, there's your belief. There's your belief right there. Well, do you see something coming up sooner? It, honey, it's not what I see. It's what you believe. What you believe will be delivered unto you. So you get out of the way. What you want is a joyful, respectful honorable place that will totally respect and honor you as an artist and your work. And then you turn it over to all energy and go, that's my intention. That's what I'm committed to. Now all energy come in and work with me, create it now. Because what you're saying is, well, December's a hard month, so you can't create it now for me, God. Just create it now and get out of the way. And then when the universe brings you steps to take, take them. Send out your resumes. And every time you send it out, make sure your heart's open, merging with your entire brain. Okay, baby? Sounds great. Thank you so much. Let us know, Joellen, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. All right, Chrissy, you got to make it real fast. Hi, baby. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Well, that last call really just helped me a lot. Good. Um, I have a an appointment with you next month because I bought the December package. Yippee! Um, <laughs> so we can talk more then. I, I'm just at a loss of my life right now. No, um, I get a big no it, on that. <laughs> I get a big no on that. And they want to give you one, hold on, core belief page here okay the first one the second one we have to change some words as it's written in the core beliefs i'll never be good enough so i leave uh well this is interesting the highest word is stall i'll never be good enough so i'm stalling everything (laughs) does that resonate with you that's where i feel like i'm at yeah okay well everything is not moving forward, even though it was felt like it was going to be moving forward. Well, and it's already, it's, it's hanging there to move forward. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you've got to get out of the way. So uh, until we work together, this is what I want you to get up every morning. Remember the open heart merging with the entire brain. My commitment today is to know and be good enough. So I let everything flow. Okay. I'm good enough, and I let everything flow. Right now, in this moment, everything is flowing. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Yep. That's just just trust and commit to that, and let's see what shift we have before we work together. Okay? Okay. Okay. 
they're going it, things are going to shift things are going to shift <laughs> but you got to believe it you have okay. to believe it Chrissy okay my so just my say respect. I got nothing to lose I'm going to believe <laughs> okay I can do that and I'm going to believe by God by the God I am that yeah. I'm good enough and let's flow all right baby okay thank you so much D happy new year Happy All right, guys, what an amazing show. What a freaking amazing show this has been for me. Lots of energy shifts, lots of clarity. Every single person, no matter when you listen to this show, you got your answer. If you go back and listen to the show and ask your question, you got your answer within this show. So find it, shift it, and let's get on with it. Again, remember, they keep they keep underlying it with exclamation marks. Open heart merging with our entire brain. Uh, join me. Thank you for um, all of the centers for spiritual living across the country that made this beautiful donation to Bapalapalu. So all these children uh, will be able to experience it. If you have a place that you would like some of these bears to go, please let me know. And until we meet again, love yourselves, love yourselves. Just get into the experience of your beauty and your magnificence and watch 2016 unfold in brilliance for all of you. Thanks for joining Dee on Conscious Creation. Visit her website at imdwallace.com for awesome downloads, archived shows, enlightening webinars, and amazing free offerings. Be sure to join us next week for Conscious Creation with Dee Wallace. And remember, loving yourself is the key to creation.